the main motive behind writing in an article is that it is the publication of a newspaper journal so as to make some difference to the world. The topics of interest of writers and it may be and it may be related to some current issues. How to write powerful bullet points? Think of a bullet point as a mini headline. Highlight elements key to understanding the content of your article. Keep it simple. Keep bullet thematically related. Work in keywords. Thank you. Encyclopedia is a reference book that contains information on all branches of knowledge. These compendiums have existed for over 2000 years and Encyclopedia is self-contained and provides detailed explanation on subjects beyond what the dictionary offers. It consists of a wide range of topics aiming to offer a comprehensive summary of what is known about each subject. So friends, you should develop the interest in reading the encyclopedia. Thank you. Hi, I'm Maji. Maji is our treasure chest full of knowledge, entertainment and inspiration. They are not just colorful pages, but gateways to new world, ideas and adventures. From fashion to science, from sports to cooking, there is a magazine for everyone's interest. Magazines also help us improve our reading skills and vocabulary, making learning fun and accessible. So let's embrace the wonderful world of magazines. Let's dive into their pages and let our imagination show. Because in the wonderful world of magazines, there is always something waiting to be discovered. Thank you. Thank you for your insightful performance. Next students of class 6 will perform a short dance.
and the boys play a important role to frame it. Among them, one is Shakespeare, the father of English playwrights. Apart from that, he had written 37 theatrical dramas, 250 poems, and 152 sonnets. So, his plays would be occupying three major roles. The writing would cover up the twist and the unexpected end of the play, and even his vulgar bit comical play. And apart from that, he had contributed even to the field of drama. He was the one to explain, to write the spelling of each word correctly. And apart from that, he had created or he was the one to be the founder of, if you would have read compound words, connecting two nouns or two words. And then created adverbs, adjectives, what not. Everything he had found from the base of the world. And additional to that, he was the one to introduce suffix and prefix. He would have come across these words right from six to eight. So let's make a word run away, enrich and enhance by learning all these basics which has been given by the great legend. So here our students of 7 to 12 to present is something interesting about the life of Shakespeare. Are you all ready to experience those things? Yes or no? Yes Okay, here comes the first student from class 7. Jai Vasavi Jai Kote. I am Rashid Teja of class 7. I am here to read out the famous place of Shakespeare. First, all is well, then ends well. Second, as you like. Third, Julius Caesar. Fourth, Macbeth. Fifth, the Merchant of Venice. Sixth, the Tempest. Seventh, Romeo Juliet. Eighth, Mesha Comesh. Ninth, the Comedy of Errors. Tenth, Amit Samanai. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Next comes students from class 8. My name is Ali Sahara and I am from class 8 years old. I am here to present about famous five characters of Shakespeare's play. Julian from Romeo and Juliet. She emerges in our lives as a strong female role model. Shaira from Merchant of Venice. Shaira is a grasping but proud and tragic figure. Hamlet from the tragedy of Hamlet. He is an example of tragic hero. Miranda. Miranda is the only female character in the Tempest. She is gentle, compassionate and also relatively passive hero. Last but not least. Three witches, also known as weird sisters. Three witches, also known as weird sisters. This play tells about no matter if you are as small as a mouse, you can be a human and act like a human. Thank you. Next, we have the students of mine.
friends, romance, countrymen. Let me hear yours from junior to senior. Thank you. Next come Vigneshwar of class 22. Jai Vasavi, Jai Gurudev. I am S.K. Vigneshwar from class 22 here to deliver a short speech. Today, we gather to commemorate the life and achievement of one of the greatest literary figures in human history, William Shakespeare. He was born in Stratford upon Avon in 1564. His impact on the world of literature and drama is immeasurable. His works, including timeless classics such as Romeo and Juliet, Hamlet and Macbeth, have transcended centuries, captivating audiences with their profound insights into the human condition, indicate characterization and masterful use of the language. Shakespeare's contribution to the English language cannot be overstated. His, he softened so many expressions and phrases that are still in use today, enriching our vocabulary and cultural heritage. Beyond his literary achievements, Shakespeare's legacy continues to live in theatres worldwide, where his stage continue to be performed and celebrated, inspiring generations of actors, directors and audiences alike. As we reflect on Shakespeare's legacy, let us honor his genius as well and ensure that his motives should be learned and continue to be cherished for generations to come. Thank you. Thank you, Vigneshwar. Finally, here we have the students of Standard 12. Jai Vasri Jai Gurdi. I am in the of class 12A2 and I am Prashita of class 12A1. On account of William Shakespeare's birth anniversary, let us share a few interesting facts about the great playwright and poet. During his lifetime, William Shakespeare wrote about 37 plays for the theatre and 150 poems. On 1385, the mysterious William Shakespeare disappeared from records for around 7 years. The stories of them refer to this part of the writer's life as the lost years. His plays were immediate basis. He wrote plays about all kinds of things, which could be divided into three categories tragedy, comedy, and history. This play made him rich and famous. On 1595, he suddenly turned up in London as an actor and playwright. But through William, tell us how it will be his jealous rival, known as the University West, criticized and made fun of his work. One writer named Robert Green referred to him as an abstract crow. Shakespeare's play had the royal seal of approval of both Queen Elizabeth I and James VI of Scotland, and one of England would have often been hired. We often ask Shakespeare's company to come and perform at the Royal Court. He was part of a theatre company called the Lord Chamberlain's Men, who regularly performed at a place called the Theatre. But after a dispute with the landlord, it was rebuilt and named as the Globe. Today, his work is studied in schools and universities around the world. And his stories are depicted on TV and Instagram. His real name is Neville Shakespeare, which is the Latin word for William. He called